three to the 10. Hits the middle. The 25 breaks out and falls down at about the 24. He was pushed back. So they get a low kick from Bryant that kind of surprised me. I don't know if, if that ball was wet, but kind of surprised me that didn't put that one out of the end zone. And their offense is 4.07 a game, but their defense has been porous. 4.02.9 per game. Brown is under center. Aggies cheating a whole bunch of folks up on the line of scrimmage. Got about six up there, not blitzing. Handoff goes to Williams. Hits the 25, got a yard. It will be second down and nine when Texas comes back to the line. This is second down and still call it 10. Line of scrimmage, for all intents and purposes, was the 25. Split backs, Brown on one side, Williams on the other. Brown, there was movement. Now right tackle stood up before the snap. It'll cost Texas five. It'll be second and 15. This is the first drive of the ball game. Five-yard mark off. It's second down and 15. Movement on the left side before the snap. Brown, short drop, throws left, has a man, and it will be caught for a five-yard pickup to the 25-yard line. Caught by Brian White out of Deer Park. Stopped by Shun Horn. White's 21st reception of the season. Shotgun formation. Bernard, Edwards, and Bradley in the lineup. Deep pop. Throw back to the left, and it's incomplete at the 29-yard line. That was a throwback to the right, excuse me. The intended receiver was Brown, the running back, and it's punt time now for the Horn. Ante Hall for the Aggies, standing at the A&M 35. Line of scrimmage, the 25. Schultes will take the snap from center, standing at his own 12. Kicks away, and it's not a good one. It's off the side of his foot. Will hit at the 50, however, get a Texas roll, and out of bounds it goes at the Aggie 39-yard line. First and 10, Texas A&M at their 39-yard line. I formation. Handoff will go to the second man through. That's Hall. He gets a chunk of yards here. Gets about eight across the 45 to the 47. Brandon Nava out of Mesquita sophomore had 14 tackles. Slugfest they got into with the Owls down at Rice Stadium earlier this season made the stop there at the 47-yard line. So the Aggies set the tone defensively, three and out, and now the offense for the A&M has started off with a seven-yard pickup on their first play in their drive. I again lead back this time as a receiver, and that's Cole. They put him in motion to the right side. Stewart takes the snap, shallow pocket, throws high over the head of the intended receiver. It's Chris Cole at the line of scrimmage, and maybe a yard passed way high in the air, no chance at all. So third down and still about two, me three coming up for Texas A&M. Cole has caught 21 for 277 yards. He averages 13-2 every time he makes a reception. Again, they put Bumgarner as a fullback, but put him in motion, left and right. And it's a handoff to Hardiman. He'll fight for the first down. Did he get it? Oh, they got a, I think that's a poor mark on the far side. Now the official on this near side, that is a lousy mark. The official on the far side just marked that ball about a half yard behind the point needed for the first down. And they're going to be about a half yard short of the first down, and it'll be fourth and very, very short. Now the official on this side actually had a better mark that probably would have been closer to a first down. Don't know, but again, that's the call. And now the Aggies will do what? Punt the ball away. Leckler trotting out on the field. So both teams will end up putting it away on their first possession. And here is Leckler, Football News Big 12 member, named to that team. He's averaging 47-3 a game. Kicks away. Nice high kick. Fair catch being called for at the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. Come out an eye formation. They'll shift to an off uh, set backfield. Brown, handoff. They're going left to Williams, looking for the left corner. They're stringing it out, and he's going to get a yard to about the 13. The Aggies kept stringing that out. Cody was over there chasing it. Myers, Sunhorn uh, helped clean that one up as well. He's not the fastest guy or the quickest guy in the country, and he's not the most powerful, but he has a great combination of power and quickness, and it shows he's the leading rusher in the country. 62% of his uh, yards have been made after first contact. 62%. Rain coming down again. A handoff in the backfield. They change uh, and put... No, that's Williams. They may have. Did he fumble the ball? Now they say he's down. As he gets it out to about the 18-yard line, Ricky Williams fumbled, but he was down on the turf. No shotgun. Running backs are flexed out to the right. One's a receiver. The handoff, and it's Williams. He hits inside. There are flags down 
on the play. No gain to speak of. Maybe a yard loss by Ricky Williams. First start. Yeah. Offense. They get it over. Five-yard penalty. Repeat third down. Again, Ricky Williams with that 39-72. 6.4 yards per carry. RC making mention of this any number of times. 62% of those 3,900 yards after first contact. Shotgun, Texas. Inside handoff. It goes to Brown. He's caught back at the 10. Dropped at the 11. Rocky Bernard. And it'll be punt time for the Longhorns. Great recognition by Rocky Bernard of that draw play. He just followed the back as he uh, went to catch the football and was right on his back at the line of scrimmage. It's raining harder now than it has all game long. It is coming down. Paul has returned 16 kicks for an average of 11.4. Not a good kick again. It's a wet football. Look out. Whoa, Whoa, that got one of the Aggie return men. And once more, it's going to get a longhorn roll across the 50 to the Aggie 49-yard line. To the 49, and it's killed there. So 51 yards away, and that punt was 40 yards. Rain is really coming down. The Aggies have the ball. Stewart's under center. Line of scrimmage, the Aggie 49. Eye formation. Fumble the snap. Got it back. Fell on top of it. Lost a yard. Stewart couldn't handle it. That's the first sign then of that rain causing a problem. A wet football, and Stewart couldn't handle that snap. Nobody. Second down and 11. Clock rolling. 9-24. No score. First quarter. Now, Billy Pickard, our facilities director at A&M, has been wanting to get a good test of this field, the new uh, grass field. He'll get it today. High formation again. Puts a man in motion from the right side. Handoff. Hall looking for the right corner. Wrapped up. He got the original line of scrimmage, and that'll be all. It will be third down and ten. He got back to the 49-yard line. Nebraska next Saturday for the Aggies in San Antonio. Here's the third down play with two tight ends and a single setback. And it goes to Hall again. Spins away from one man. Lost a yard at the 48-yard line. So at the 48, it will be fourth down and punt time. Tackle made by Anthony Hicks. Now check the return, man. That will be White again. White has an average of six yards per return. Now the rain starts to lighten up a little bit. Pressure up the middle. Great kick. Fair catch call for this one's going to hit at the two and get into the end zone. So a nice kick off the foot of Leckler for some 51 or 52 yards. 51 by Leckler. We get a timeout out on the field. 7.43 to go. First quarter. Texas ball at the 20. When we come back, no score. This is Texas Aggie football. What happens in a ball game like this where you have inclement weather conditions, particularly in a big game and when it's close and early in the ball game, I think there's a tendency on the coach's part to go more conservative with their offense and try to grind something out, take up time, and just keep the ball game close until you find out exactly how the ball game is going to go and see if the conditions are going to improve. It is just about stop raining. There's still a little bit of a drizzle, but not nearly as hard as it was five minutes ago. Wrecking crew, 33 sacks this year for losses of 170 yards. Brown under center, single set back. It goes to Williams. Again, they're trying. The defensive right side, Williams will get yardage to the 25. It will be second down and five. One of the officials stands over the ball until they approach the line of scrimmage with a towel holding the ball up off the surface. Single set back. Two tight ends. Lewis on one side, Bradley on the other. Brown will throw on second down. It's caught, and it will not be enough for the first down. A yard only to the 27-yard line. Very, he's been quite a story late in the season. Very quick reaction that time by Sean Horn. He, he didn't give Cavill a lot of depth, and he got there quickly. Snap it, hand it off to Williams. Tries the middle. He will be short of a first down as he hits. The, there's a flag down. One, two flags down on the field. And they have spotted him at the 27, even though he fell forward to the 29-yard line. Apparently, a knee hits down. Well, against Texas, and it'll back him up five. Now, the Aggies will come with their nickel package now in a third and eight situation, but they still need to be alert for Ricky Williams. They'll go to the draw play here, and sometimes they'll screen to him here. Williams had just 80 yards two games ago against Texas Tech. They shut him down, and his yards were, for the most part, meaningless. Under center. We'll throw it back to the, and it's a first down across the 30 to the 34-yard line. Threw it back to the left. Ball caught by Cavill. And they drop him at the 35. The ball now out at the 35, and it's first and 10. That's the first first down, I guess, for either side in this game. So Texas throws for a first down out of a, what was that, third and eight situation. 
Brown snaps it. Hands it off to Williams. Takes the left side. He will get five as he goes out of bounds at the at the uh, Texas 40. At the 40, ridden out over there by Shun Horn. Second down and five at the 40-yard line. The 45 is the spot needed for the next first down. Slot, uh, two wide outs. They hand off to Williams, the middle. And he's going to get four after a couple of men hit him, and he drags him out to the 44-yard line. It will be third down and a yard coming. Third down less than a yard 44 yard line brown trying to sneak for it i don't know if he got it or not he's out close to the 45 yard line where is the spot well it's going to depend on the spot i well, think he they just they picked it up that was a generous first. spot they gave him the first down just across the 45 and steve usechek says yes that indeed is a texas first down first and 10 texas left hash mark their 45. Rain starts to pour again. Williams tries the middle. He will get five. He lowers his helmet and hits Coriot head on in the chest and carries it to the 50-yard line. Second down and five. Split backs. Brown and Williams. Man in motion. Handoff goes to Williams. Starts outside. Nice hole as he will carry for a first down into AM territory at the 42-yard line. At the 42, Ricky Williams and a Texas first down. Sean Coriot again will make the stop. And Dave, he must be uh, shadowing uh, Williams each time he gets the ball. That's the third first down for the Texas Longhorns. Offensive line for Texas doing a good job of opening up that off tackle and outside hole. Ricky Williams running through it, but it's not just Ricky Williams. That line is giving him some room to run. That's a first down all the way down at the Aggie 42-yard line. See if the wrecking crew can buckle down here and stop this drive. Single setback. It'll be Williams. Will throw a screen over the middle. Incomplete. Try to hit that one over the middle with everybody dropping back, trying to invite the defensive line as well as the linebackers in there. He throws high, incomplete. The intended receiver was Derek Lewis. Browns the lead back. Williams is the, is the tailback in this formation. And it goes to Williams. Tries the middle. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another tackle. He goes to the 35-yard line. Stretches out close to the 34. And now a third down, and about three will be needed. Rain picks up again. Brown's under center. Hands off to Williams. Has close for a first down. Maybe not this time as he hits the 32 and goes down. That win, slow in getting up. That has hurt his right arm. He is in some pain. His jersey has pulled out uh, and is now underneath his shoulder pads. Webster's helping him get that back. They did not pick up a first down. It will be fourth down and inches, and Texas will go for it, driving here deep in AM territory at the 32 and a half yard line. Need the 32. Two tight ends. Ag's not ready to go when Texas gets to the line of scrimmage. Hand off to Williams. Has a first down as he goes to the 31. So they convert a fourth into a first. Nice drive so far for Texas here. Two minutes left in the first quarter. Starts at their own 20 yard line. First and ten, split backs, and it's going to be a fake as Brown comes back this direction. Gets the ball across the 25, goes down at the 24. He faked, everybody else goes left. Brown on a neck and rollout, carries the ball across the 25 to the Aggie 24. Gets pretty close to seven yards on that carry. Ricky Brown, an eye formation, offsets it by moving to his left. James Brown, the quarterback. Hands off to Ricky Williams. Trips up as he crosses the 25 and goes to the 23. It'll be third down and two when they return to the line of scrimmage. So here's third down and about two from a split back formation. Brown, the snap, the handoff. Williams are coming right. He has a first down. He's all the way down to about the 14-yard line. A six-yard uh, gain after he hits the 20 to the 6. Somebody got a hand on him as he hit about the 19, but that's not going to bring him down. And again, it shows the strength of Ricky Williams. I may have said Brown, but Ricky Williams on that carry down to the 14-yard line. Have Thompson on one side, Cavill on the other. Ricky Williams again. He's cutting it outside at the 10, at the 5. Goes inside the 5. It's first and goal. Texas at the 2. He made it look easy. That's what he's been doing all season long against all competition, with the exception of Texas Tech, when he was held to 80 yards. Trent Driver made the stop that time for the uh, wrecking crew defense. And they are knocking on the door, first and goal at the Aggie 2, when play resumes. And we are awaiting the start of the second quarter. First play, Rain picks up again here at Kyle Field. Blackley will rain the entire game. 
Full house backfield. They come out with a stacked dive and break that move to split back formation. Williams is the right halfback, and it goes to Williams coming back to the left. He's going to score untouched. Texas leads six to nothing. He went out untouched, and that was a very impressive drive. 17 plays. It covers 80 yards with the point after to come with 14.56 to go here in the second quarter. This might be an experience today with the wet football. Ball will be spotted down here upon the snap. It snapped, couldn't control it. Sidewinder kick, I was right. <laughs> Holder could not control the ball. It went right through his hands. He tried to pick it up, had no chance at all. When he finally got it up, Dawson kind of made a half-hearted effort at it and kicked it off to the left. So the extra point is no good. And Texas leads Texas A&M 6 to nothing with 14.56 to go. Here's Dawson with his kickoff. Again, a wet football. They're not going to try anything fancy here. The ball's going to roll where Taylor's going to pick it up. Back at the 12. Here's his return to the 20. Hang on to that football. He gets across the 20, and they slam him to the turf at the 22-yard line. The Aggies now have started at their 39 and at their 49-yard line. This will be the worst start that they've had in their possessions in this ball game. this being the third. Texas just went 17 uh, plays and 80 yards to score. So... Here we go, the Aggies trying to get points and moving into the uh, the win now, which is still not that much, but again, the heavy rain continues to fall here at Kyle Field, but it's wet on both sides of the ball. Lead back is Hardiman, the tailback is Sir Parker. Parker did not run from scrimmage in this ball game last year, even though he had a 100-yard touchdown return on a kickoff. Hand it off as it goes to Hardiman. They try the middle. He's got a good hold of the 29 as he bounces it out to the left side. Tried the middle, and all of a sudden he reappears and gets it to the 29-yard line. A nice pick up there of about five yards. Tony Holmes from the strong safety position. Got an injured to make the uh, stop. Saying him to the line of scrimmage following a timeout. Second down and about four needed. Hardiman and Parker are the running backs. Stewart's under center. Hackrack snaps it. Hands off to Parker. 30, 35-yard line. There's a first down for Texas A&M. And a, apparently a fumble on the and a mad scramble, but I think the officials have ruled that it's down. That'll be the Aggies' first first down of this ball game, and we've, we've just started the uh, second quarter. So there was a fumble. The Aggies have recovered at the 35. Texas missed its extra point when the holder couldn't hang on to a wet football. High formation. Stewart at the 35. Pitch it. Going back to Parker. Looking for this side. Bottled up. Won't go anywhere. Matter of fact, will lose a yard to the 34-yard line. A sweep to the right side covered by Texas. Uh, Texas with good containment, and they came with a, a run blitz, running the linebacker through the tackle hole. A good guess on what the Aggies were doing. Taylor in motion right to left. Single setback on a second down and 11. Play action, now throw, wide open at the 50, as Spiller goes to the 45, goes to the 41 of Texas. There's a big play for the Aggies, Spiller wide open, caught to, between the linebackers in the secondary. Donald McCowan, the free safety, over to make the stop. It's an eye formation behind Brandon Stewart. Hardiman's the lead back, Parker's right behind him, hack right over the ball. Stewart takes the snap, the hand off to Hardiman, hits the middle, and he goes to the 40 on a first and 10, got a yard, it'll be second down and 9 for Texas A&M. Now Hardiman's the only back in the lineup now, two tight ends, two wide receivers, and Cedric Hardiman as the uh, lone running back. Second down and 9, flanker to the right's Aaron Oliver, and it goes to Hardiman again, nice hole, he's got the first down and about 5 more, goes to the 25 yard line, picks up about 15 yards. Does Tiki Hardiman throw oh, out a flag, middle. and that's going to be a personal foul against Texas. I think he walked in. Somebody walked in there and kicked one of our players when he was down. Let's see what happens 14 here. yards on the pickup, and now the officials have gathered over the football at the spot of the uh, tackle. The flag is on the turf at the 21-yard line. Texas apparently kicked one of the uh, Aggies while he was laying on the uh, turf. Here's the call. Didn't say anything. He gave us the sign, no personal foul. And they'll move the ball from the spot of the infraction half the distance, apparently. It should move down to around the... Where's the ball? Close to the 10. They'll spot it uh, at the 12-yard line. Personal foul against Texas. The Aggies have it first and 10. 
at the Texas 13. Two tight ends, two flankers, and a lone running back in Tiki Hardeman. Give it to Hardeman. He goes the middle again. Got a yard from the 13 to about the 12-yard line. It will be second down and eight, pausing 15 seconds for station identification. You're listening to the Texas Aggies. 14, now make it 11 on the uh, huddle clock. High formation, A&M a second down. The Aggies will snap the ball with Texas in the neutral zone and carry across the 10. Texas coming on a blitz, trying to anticipate the snap. Snap it, and then Stewart carries inside the 10 to the 7. There were no flags. The Aggies snapped it with the uh, horns blitzing, and uh, Stewart on the quarterback sneak will get the ball inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. It will be third down now and about uh, four or five clock rolling 11 minutes to go second quarter Texas leads six to nothing I formation Broyles then Parker behind it tied in right two wide outs to the left here's the handoff it goes to Parker breaks the tackle touchdown sir Parker Aggies have tied it at six as Parker goes straight ahead and in that area of the field, it is very slippery. You can see folks sliding around, water starting to stand on the field now. And let's see if Bill Johnston now can handle this snap from center. The Texas holder could not do it. Kyle Lednecki very delicately will be the deep snapper. It snapped, it spotted down, kicks on its way, and the Aggies are good on that one. Seven to nothing, seven to six rather. The Ags leading the Longhorns at 10.45 to go in the second stanza. Williams last year against A&M carried 24 times at 163 yards in the ball game, won by the Horns at Austin. Here's Kyle Bryant, and his kick is a squibber that will hit a bunch of water. Being uh, picked up back at the 7, I think maybe Clayton, back to the 20. Somebody's got to find him, and they uh, locate him now across the 30 to the 31. You can get lost down there in that rain and that sliding around. Another interesting phenomenon. We must be in the middle of the front because there is absolutely no wind at this point. The flags are hanging lift now. Part of this because they're heavy with moisture, but uh, very little wind out here right now. Of this, uh, field, for the uh, this field will drain well. However, uh, it just hasn't stopped raining, so the draining is going to be continuous. Once it stops, you'll see it drain pretty good. That's if it aspect. stops, yeah, if it does stop today. And a good driving rain or pouring rain now. Single setback. Move the tight ends up on the line of scrimmage, and the flankers move back. Snap it. Drop back, wants to throw deep, going to the far sideline. They are going to go up in the air, and the ball is batted away at the 40-yard line. The AM 40 defensively on the play was Jason Webster. Second down and 10. It was a deep pocket a moment ago by Brown, throwing to the far sideline. Wynn acting like he's going to come on this, but he won't. Hand off, it's Williams in the backfield. Turns the corner as a first down as he moves down the sideline across the 40. And out of bounds. Nope, did not get out of bounds, or did it? They'll move the clocks. He stayed inbounds to the 44-yard line. It is first down and 10. So Texas coming right back at the Aggies. They had an incomplete pass and a 13-yard run by Williams. He's the only man in the backfield behind Brown. They're going to hand off to that man. Williams scampering around. He goes to the 49. Gets about six yards. Yards, maybe uh, about six, and it'll be second down and four coming. Second down and five, they say. It's from the Texas 49-yard line. Williams and the Aggies coming. They miss a man there. Williams will be uh, good for a first down. They missed him at the 50. He carries across the 45 to the 43, and he is just simply a load. And until they can adjust and do something about that, I'm afraid that uh, that's going to be a major part of their offense that the Aggies are going to have a difficult time trying to handle. Williams now again in the backfield. Or is he? That may be Ricky Brown. It is Brown. Williams not in the backfield. Straight drop by Brown. They're going to throw that screen over the middle again. It will be to the tight end. Lewis and Lewis will get a yard. Nice recognition by Philip Myers. He saw Lewis uh, going to that middle tight end screen. Followed him in there and tackled him for a very short gain. About one yard it looks like. Offset in the backfields, Brown, Lewis, draw out of the backfield, goes to uh, Williams. Brown handing off, uh, Brown uh, to Williams. What did he get that time? About three yards to the About 40. three, that was the lead draw. Brown leading Williams through the hole. The Aggies converged on it well, held him to three yards. It'll be a third down, a big third down for the Aggie wrecking crew. 
third and about seven. Third down conversions now for the uh, Longhorns. They're 50%, three out of six. I mentioned earlier that for the year they are 37%. Third down. Scoreboard says seven. Need the Aggie 33. Split back formation. Timeout call. Clayton and Williams were the running backs in this situation, and a timeout will be used by the Longhorns, and they'll go to the sideline with their quarterback, James Brown, wanting to talk to the head coach, John McAvick. It is a 7-6 Aggie lead by a point, 7.35 to go in the second half. It is lighter now than it has been all game long. 7-6 to six to score. The Aggies by a point, 7.5 to go. It is third down and seven for Texas. They called a timeout when they came to the line of scrimmage. Brown talked it over. Snap it, drop back, eight-yard pocket, throw the ball, and it is incomplete down at the 23-yard line. Going back to his right, incomplete, and fourth down for the Horns at the Aggie 40. Standing at the 10, Dante Hall for Texas A&M. Somewhat low, middle protection. Here's the kick, and it will hit at the 20-yard line and go out of bounds. He did go to the sideline, so inside the 20. You said it. This is the best it has looked since well before game time. And we're going to stay here, and here we go. The Aggies at the line of scrimmage. Hardeman and Hall returns as the tailback. Hardeman the fullback. And in motion, Hodge, and it goes to Hardeman. He hit the middle, bounces out of there. Should have got nothing. He's going to get five to the 25-yard line. That was bottled up, and he just didn't give up. Do not see him at this moment, so they're playing with the number two uh, linebacker at the weak side position. Motion from the Aggies on second down and five. Here comes Hall. It's the middle. Gets about three to the 28. That was tough yards, and he wrapped that up and carried to the 28-yard line. That was one that once you didn't see a lot of those moves, and I don't know if a lot of his moves would be available to him on this surface. And there's a significant uh, dark spots down there indicating that the mud is coming through as well, so that makes it real slick. High formation again. There are two tight ends on a third down and about two. It is a pitch as it goes back to Hall. Dives across the 30. Goes to the 32. That's a Texas A&M first down at the 32-yard line. Pitch come right and cut it quickly back to his left. And Dante Hall carries for an Aggie first down. And a terrific lead block that time by Tiki Hardeman. He took out the contained man. Dante Hall waited for the block. Cut back under it and picked up the first. Hall's out of the lineup. Hardeman is the only running back in the ball game, and it goes to Hardeman, and he hits the left side. He gets good chunks there. As not only is he tearing up the turf, but he's running over some wet and soggy Longhorn defenders across the 35 to the 37-yard line. And now a second down and five with motion from Hodge right to left. Ball equidistance between the hash marks of the handoff. It will go to Hall, and Hall close to the 40-yard line. What I was going to say is there's a different emphasis uh, between these two ball clubs about how they want to run the football. Texas has preferred in this ball game to try to take it outside, uh, tackle outside the tackle to uh, to well outside the end on the sweep play. A&M, on the other hand, is running the ball almost straight up the middle with Tiki Hardeman, and that time inside the tackle between the guard and the tackle with Hall picking up a couple of yards. But it's third and two now, and another big third down conversion attempt for the Aggie offense. 4.45 remaining in the uh, first half. The Aggies will lead. Play action. Stewart rolls. Stewart throws, and it's a reception at the Texas 49 by Derek Spiller on his knees at the Longhorn 49. First down, Texas A&M. Another big catch now from Derek Spiller. Same play as the last time they completed it for 25 yards. The play action and the crossing pattern from Spiller. High formation. The handoff to Hardeman. Hit the middle. Break a tackle. Go to the 40. Has two men on him as he crosses the 35 and goes to the 34-yard line. And Hardeman from the 49 to the Texas 34. Wallace and Holmes. 15 yards on the carry by Tiki. Just a great tackle breaker at the, at the line of scrimmage. And then picks up 15. He's down to the 34. Hardeman now eight carries in 60 yards in eye formation. They put Taylor in motion. Left to right. Handoff goes to Hall. Hall turns his back as he hits the line of scrimmage and maybe a yard to the 33-yard line. Aggies lead here at this point in time, 7-6 to six with 3.24 to go in the first half over Texas. Lone setback, and it will go to Hall. Nice hole to the 25, to the 20. Has the sideline as they drag him out of bounds at the Texas 12-yard line. Drug out down there. One of them in close was Quentin Wallace. And then also Joseph Walker may have been the man that got him. And the carry down to the 12-yard line is first and 10 for 
the Aggies at the Texas 12. Outstanding job by the offensive line. Both guards pull and bang a hole off the right side. Hall darts through it untouched and goes 21 down to the Texas 12-yard line. Checks out the only running back, Hardeman. Two tight ends and two flankers. Flanker way wide left. It goes to Hardeman. He is at the five. He breaks the tackle at the three. He will score! He would not be denied. This is that quick hitter they've been running all day right up the middle. Broke two or three tackles and took it in from 12 yards out. The Aggies lead it 13-6 to six and they'll be trying for an extra point. And again, this could be a thrill a minute. Texas has dropped an extra point. Hardeman now nine carries, 72 yards, and he got the TD right there. It's his ninth of the season, career TD, number 26 for Tiki Hardeman. Here's the snap. Johnston puts it down. It's a wet and soggy kick. <laughs> I think there may have been some problems on that because Johnston gets up and he and Bryant kind of hug each other. We've got a timeout on the field. 3-10 to go in the first half. The Aggies now lead Texas by a count of 14-6. Texas Aggie football continues after this. Very little rain at any of others. A little bit right now. I can see some sprinkles. And you can notice now that water that was standing to our left toward the north end has drained away. There's still some water here to the right for the south end zone. Here's Bryant approaching the ball. Here's the kick, and it's a good one. That will hit at the five and roll into the end zone and uh, was brought out to the 20-yard line. Brown has him at the line of scrimmage, first down and 10. And there, there's a handoff to Williams. That's a big surprise, and he will carry out to the 25 to the 26-yard line, get six on a first and 10. Uh, two minutes and 30 seconds left here in the uh, half, and Texas has two timeouts. Williams now over 100 yards, 20 carries, 102. And the handoff again to Williams, stringing it out to the left, looking for the corner. Got through a tackle there. They'll bring him out of bounds at the 30-and-a-half-yard line. Not enough for a... Uh, no, it is enough for a first down. Looking at the chains on the far side. So enough for a first down. Ricky Williams run into the Aggie bench. 18 games, 100 or more yards rushing, and he is there today for the 18th time. Once again, it goes to Williams, looking for this side. The Aggies trying to make a tackle. They'll bottle him up at the 33 and into the Aggie bench on this near side at the 34. Rich Cody was there. Trent Driver was there. Brandon Jennings also close by, as was Brad Crowley. Second down and about 07 from the 34-yard line. Time remaining, a minute 42. Clock rolls, and they'll hand off to Williams. He goes nowhere this time. Maybe the line of scrimmage. It will be a third down and still about seven from the Longhorn 34. Clayton is a running back. He's a right half. The left half is Williams. It's third down. Brown wants to throw. He'll throw it. And it's almost intercepted by Texas A&M at the Aggie 45, but it's an incomplete pass. That went off the fingertips of Webster down at the Aggie 45. Texas will have to punt Line of scrimmage is the 34. Shoulder stands back at the 20. It's a low snap, but the Aggies didn't have anybody going. They run into him. Here is the uh, kick, and that will land at about the 30. There was a block back there, and the uh, blocker and uh, and the defender went sliding across the field, and then Shoulders kind of ran into them more than they ran into him. 37-yard punt, Dave, so not a great punt there. 153 total offense for Texas A&M and Texas 138. First down and 10 at the 29-yard line. Hand it off up the middle. Hit the uh, 30 and then spin out of there and go to the 33 with Tiki Hardeman. So Tiki carries to the 33 and the blowing rain now. And the winds have shifted, Dave. They are now out of the north. It's a north wind here at Kyle Field. So that front apparently has reached us and now makes its way down toward the Gulf Coast. Clock 27 seconds. And they have just started the... Uh, They're right on the same. They won't have to run another play. They can stand on the sideline and uh, tell them to let the uh, clock run out here and take this thing to... Uh, apparently, they're not going to do that, though. 13, now down to 12. They may take the snap and then go to the knee. Long count by Stewart. Still counting. And there's the knee. Takes it at the 29, and he will let time run out. So that's halftime, and the Aggies have a 14-6 to lead. Over the Texas Longhorns, Dr. Ray Bowen will be our special guest as we get back uh, to you following a timeout. 14-6, to the Aggies over Texas. This is Texas Aggie football.
Uh, the uh, total offense about the same on both sides. 138 for Texas, 155 for the Aggies. Break it down, 119 rushing, 36 passing for Texas A&M. 116 rushing, 22 passing for uh, the uh, Texas Longhorns. The middle return man is Hall. On the near side is Taylor. On the far side is Sir Parker. Hall has moved up to the 10-yard line. Here's the kick. Squibber. And will roll through the legs of one of the upbacks. Be picked up at the 15 by Taylor to the 25. Dogged at the 30. And goes across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Coyles had gone out on the field and then came to the sideline when he realized he was the 12th man. And here is a handoff to Dante Hall. He gets four to the 35-yard line and pushed back to the 31. So Dante Hall to the 35. And again, it will be Hall with a flanker right, a flanker left. And there are two tight ends, Campbell and Spiller. Both have shown exceptional hands down the run here. Here's a handoff to Hall. He has a man on him as he goes to the 39-yard line, and it will be a third down and two coming up for Texas A&M. That the Aggies on third are 39%. And the Aggies and Nebraska hook up next week, but we still have a half to go here. I formation, third down and short. A pitch back to Hall. Looks for the corner. Has the first down and more. 50, 40, 35, 30. Down to the 15. Out of bounds they go at about the 10-yard line. They're going to spot him at the 9-yard line. Dante Hall, once he got around the corner, he was sliding on down the sideline. That was the quick pitch to the right for the first down, a third and two situation. They got the corner. Texas couldn't contain him. And he got the corner and then went all the way down to the 9. That was a pickup of 52 yards for Dante Hall. He comes out of the, uh, the lineup kind of holding his shoulder. But uh, he'll get a needed rest. And Sir Parker, with hope Tiki Hardeman will be in there to replace him. We'll watch Hall's uh, sideline activity. He's now 11 carries, 100 yards for Dante. 108 last year. Handoff. Hardeman hits the middle. Goes to about the 7-yard line. Last year, he's over 100 today. Second and goal from the seven-yard line and I formation. This would be a big score right here. Hand off again. It goes to Parker. Right side. There it is. Touchdown. He will touchdown. On, uh, touched into the uh, end zone at the right corner. He goes in for the TD from seven outs. And that was a big score. A&M has come out here and put a touchdown on the board with their first pos- possession. And that is a big score. The Aggies lead it 20 to 6, and here comes the extra point. Drive started at the 31-yard line after the opening kickoff. The extra point is good by Kyle Brown. He just keeps adding to that uh, total points uh, scored for his career. At 313 into the ball game today, he's now got 316. And that's Hodges Mitchell here on the near side. That's Clayton on the far side. They're up standing at the eight. And about the five. Squibber by an up back. It's a tight end. He will pick it out to fullback. Or maybe a linebacker ooh, ooh, ooh. at the 30-yard line. You know what? That was a 12th man. I think it was, that was Dusty Renfro who had, uh, was it indeed? looked like 46, but I'm not sure. R.C. Slocum's teams in the month of November are 28 and 2. As they've said many times, they remember November. Here's the first play, Texas. It's Williams. They're stringing it out to the left side. Horns chasing it. And uh, chases him all the way to the sideline and out of bounds. Nope, did not go out of bounds. Shy of the 35, 34 and a half yard line. Brown is a running back. He'll be the only running back in the backfield for the Horns. Two tight ends set up in the backfield and step up as the flankers step back. Brown's under center. Play action. Drop back to the 24. Throw the ball. Caught for a first down at the Texas 41. Probably Bradley, the tight end. We'll wait for him to come off the sideline. That's who it is. First and 10. Texas at their own 42. Williams back in the lineup, gets the handoff, hits the middle, goes to the 46-yard line. Second down, scoreboard says 6. 11-11 to go. The Aggies ahead 21-6. And it's a light eye. Play action. No, it's a fake on the reverse. Throw to the far sideline. They got Cavill, and it's knocked away down at the 25. Far sideline. Bobby Cavill guarded there by Sean Horn, also coming over, one of the other uh, defensive uh, backs, and that would have been Jennings. Third and six. Lone setback, Ricky Williams. Went out for a play, then came right back in. Brought back again to throw from the 35, and it will be complete inside the Aggie 40 to the 37-yard line. And that may be the tight end again. They found something. Bradley wants more, a big reception. And what are they doing to get Bradley open as Jennings comes over, the sophomore from Houston Channel Boot. 
Channel View Redder, and uh, he will make the stop. His own coverage. They're throwing it in between the safety and the corner on a little curl route outside, and they found it twice, this time for a first down. 37-yard line, split backs. Williams on one side, Brown on the other. Hand off to Williams, going to the short side, trying to put a juke on. He does. Has a first down. He's on the sideline, and he's out of bounds inside the 15-yard line at the 14, Ricky Williams. Goes out of bounds, and he stays down now on the sideline, out of bounds inside the 5 for the Aggie touchdown. An eye formation. Hodges Mitchell and Ricky Brown are the running backs. And it goes to Mitchell. Left side. And he gets by Datwin and he goes inside the 10 to the 9 yard line. Ricky Williams has returned to the lineup for the Horns. Second down and 5 at the Aggie 9 yard line. They need the 3 for the first. Just inside the 4. Not quite the 3. Inside handoff, it goes to Brown. Brown fights for the four, and he's going to get awfully close for a first down at the three, and I think he got it. So they go to Brown rather than to Williams. Cross the Aggies up. Bradley, the tight end, steps up on the line. Lewis steps back with a man in motion to Lewis. And off to Ricky Williams. Williams, a touchdown for Texas from the three-yard line. Texas scores... Going to the short side on a handoff to Ricky Williams after the two-point conversion effort. So here we go. There's a flag as the play starts to develop. 15 seconds for station identification. You're listening to the Texas Aggies. It'll be spotted at the 15. Again, they have some trouble trying to hold on, and this extra point is good off the foot of Phil Dawson. He's now 26 of 29 for his career. So only 26 times of the more than 100 games that have been played. I've been teasing RC that he has coached in almost one-fourth of these games. This is the 25th time he's been on the sideline for the Aggies and the Longhorns. Here's Dawson's kickoff, and it's the best of the day for either kicker. Into the end zone it goes, and out the backside. Looking back over his shoulder is Dante Hall. The Aggies first down and 10 from the 20, 80 yards away, and lead it here by a score of 21-13, up by 8, at 9-17 to go in the third quarter. Under notes of interest, there's basketball. I see G. Raleigh White outside the stadium. Basketball tomorrow night. G. Raleigh White, Tony Maroney, and his team will play Bethune-Cookman. The game will tip at 7. Saw Jonathan Fagan of the Houston Chronicle in the uh, press box earlier today. Gave him a great compliment on some nice things that he wrote about the basketball team. That was a nice article I read. Uh, Look for some good things for Aggie basketball and Tony Baroni this year. The Aggies at the line of scrimmage with an eye formation. It's a pitch coming back to Sir Parker. Looks for the 20, has the 25, has the 30, has the 35. Cuts it back at the 45. He's being uh, chased and brought down at the Texas 40. Actually, they're going to bring him down at the 41-yard line, and there is a flag down back at the 25, folks. Apparently, they're going to... It's a hold on the Aggies back at the 25. So, thus, all the yardage. Stewart has thrown three passes and completed two, both to Derek Spiller in the ball game. And off it goes to Parker again. They try the right side. He's across the 20 to the 26-yard line. Royals also checks in. He ran 40 yards on the previous play, but it was brought back, and he ran 10 on that one. So he's getting a rest, and Dante Hall's in the lineup along with Mark Boyles. Aggies number 14 in the nation in rushing offense. Into this ball game today in CAA statistics. High formation, pitch it back to uh, Hall. Got an outside block spinning around it. Fights for a first down, stretches out. Got the first down at the 31-yard line. Oh, he did a nice little circle move, but I think he should have stayed inside. Mark Boyles had a good kickout block, and he could have cut back underneath him. But either way, he picks up the first down for the Aggies. The penalty plus 10 more. Stewart now saying something off to the left side. Hands it off once more. It goes to Hall. He ran right up the back of Chris Rumor. Knocked Rumor down and got about four yards to the 35. Second down, need six. Point needed about the Aggie 41. Line of scrimmage is the 35. An eye formation. Hardeman's the lead back. And it will go to Parker. They try the middle. And that, uh, well, that just didn't have any chance at all. The formation will be an eye with a flanker left and two tight ends. We've been very successful today. As a matter of fact, it's the only success we've had in throwing the balls through the two tight ends. 
an eye. And this time it'll be a deep pitch, and the Aggies almost had it busted behind the line. Now it will be busted behind the line, and a flag goes down at the 32-yard line. A loss on the play of about four or five yards. They pitched it deep. Texas read it, and as they broke an initial tackle, it was a uh, hold against Texas A&M. So it is fourth down and nine, and here is Leckler checking in and takes the snap at the 18. Oh, it's a boomer into the wind. Backpedaling, it looks like Mitchell, and he will be blocked at the 23-yard line. Jeff Wilson, great coverage, got away from the people trying to block him. He was right there as the ball was caught, and he'll make the tackle for no gain. Great kick by Shane Leckler. Leckler into the win. That one good for 45 yards. Total offense, 241 for the Aggies, 208 for Texas. Texas has rushed the ball 161 yards. The Aggies, 205. Not a lot of passing today. First down and 10. At the 24, Texas at the line of scrimmage. Put a man in motion, that's Lewis. Will throw it, shallow pocket, incomplete at the 30-yard line. Came close, looked like Webster might have had a shot at an interception. Second down and 10 again from the 24-yard line. And here's the bread and butter guy, Williams, waiting for a block. It will never materialize, and he loses a yard to the 23. Just looking for a block on the left side on that handoff. He starts slow, Dave, just looking, looking, and then hoping to find something where he can get the acceleration shotgun formation Williams to the right of James Brown the snap drops back to the 13 throws and it is caught out at the 41 will be caught by Brian White first down and 10 Texas he's 50 percent he's 7 of 14 so they convert on a third first down and 10 the ball actually spotted at the 42 yard line it's an eye formation now they'll shift to a light eye by moving Brown the fullback to his left Williams tries the middle, breaks through. He's at midfield, 45-40. He's out of bounds inside the Aggie 35 at the 34. There's the acceleration. And again, as many teams, almost all this year except Texas Tech, trying to find the secret to stopping uh, Ricky Williams. First and 10 at the Aggie 33. They are coming right back at A&M. Shallow pocket throw from the 40, and it is tapped away, intended for Thompson on the sideline at the 25. And it looked like Webster may have gotten a hand on that. It's second down and 10 at the 33. It will not be Williams. They, however, will keep it on the ground. They go to Mitchell, and Mitchell bottled up for a loss of one back to the 34 as they try to bring it to the right side. Still a very light rain falling here at Kyle Fields. And a play. The Aggies will watch the handoff in the backfield of Mitchell, and they drop him inside the 35 back at the 36-yard line. Brad Crowley. How about crash on that one? Well, yeah, fine recognition of that uh, counter play. It took a little bit of time to develop, and Crowley got penetration and then followed the back and took him down from behind. Low snap. He had to take that on one hop. Aims it for the sideline. Will it make it? It goes into the end zone. It'll be a touchback, and the Aggies will have the ball at the 20-yard line. That was a kick of 37 yards by Mark Schultes, and we're going to get a timeout down on the field with the Aggies showing 3.27 on the clock. Texas drove down, was stopped. They had to punt it. A&M leads 21-13. This is Texas Aggie football. First down and 10 from the 20. And a light eye shown on this possession. Handoff goes to Hall. It's the 20. Nothing going. He got the 20-yard line. Texas now seems to have found a secret here in the last few plays against the Texas, uh, Texas A&M offense of stopping the uh, the run. Second down and 10 from the 20-yard line. And again, a light eye with Hardeman flexed out to the left side. There's a slot in that direction. Tie it in right. And again, they go to Hall. Spins away from one tackler. He's going to be caught behind the line. They drop him back at the 15-yard line. Seventh largest crowd ever at Kyle Field to watch a football game. Seventh largest today at 75,000 plus. An eye formation, third down and 15 from the Aggie 15-yard line. And it's a handoff up the middle. 25 out close to the 30, almost a first down. Oh, is that Hartman close? at the 29 and a half yard line. He needed one more step, but wrapped up from the backside on the uh, carry. And what do you have, a flag down? No, the offensive line wants to go for it, but uh, I don't think that would be the right call here at the 29-yard uh, line. They'll come off the field. Aggie's just about a, about a foot short of the first down on a third and 14. Draw play up the middle. Tiki fell down just short of the 30. Tony Holmes responsible for that tackle a moment ago on a Hardeman at the 29-and-a-half. 
Here's Leckler. Will take the snap at the 14. Pressure up the middle. Kicks away. Not a good one. It'll bounce at the 40. And roll inside or right at the Texas 35-yard line. It'll be killed there at the 35. Here's Texas with the football. They have it first down and 10 at their own 35-yard line. It's not Williams in the backfield. That was Brown. James Brown wants to throw. He will throw as he is hit, and he will throw incomplete to the 42, intended for Cavill. Broken up there by Jennings. Minute 10, clock stops. It's the third quarter. The Aggies ahead, 21-13. Still no Williams. That's Brown in the backfield. Straight drop by James Brown. Sets up. Throws. Knocked away at the 40. Great play. Trent Driver trying to get the ball out to the tight end, Derek Lewis. Diver, Driver, whether will just... Just lean out there and slap it away for his fourth pass knockdown of the season. Ricky Williams back in the lineup. The lone setback. Williams gets the handoff. He's going to try the middle. We'll get six to the 41-yard line, and that will bring up a punt for the Longhorns. A hole, the Aggie return man at the 22. Pressure up the middle. They get the kick away. Hall is going to let that one hit and roll at the five, at the one. It will be killed at the two-yard line. Kicked it away from Hall. He elected to let that one roll away from him. That was probably the smart thing to do. And first and ten from their own three, 97 yards away. They'll put a man in motion, Hodge. And the handoff will go to Hardeman. Hardeman trying to get it away from the goal line. Gets a yard to the four-yard line. Nobody covers Aggie sports like the Eagle. Call 1-800-299-7355 to subscribe. The third quarter is over. The Aggies now will have the wind at their back in the fourth quarter. They've got the scoreboard moment by a 21-13 count. So the Aggies now with that north wind at their back. It's the fourth quarter. It is second down and eight from the five. Hodge in motion. I formation. Two tight ends. Handoff goes to the middle. That's Hall. He gets a yard to the six. It's third down coming. I'd like to see the time of possession in the third quarter. Likely that will heavily favor the Longhorns. An I formation. Hardeman and Hall lined up behind Brandon Stewart. And it goes to Hall. Breaks one tackle. Gets out close to the ten. But not nearly enough for a first down. He got five and now a punt coming up. And the running game now, Dave, has just really deserted the Aggies. Well, one of the problems you have when you're in the in your own shadow of your own goalpost and you're winning the football game or you're leading the football game by eight points is it limits your offense. You don't want to really put the ball up. Your defense is playing pretty well. And Texas knows that, and they're stacking for the run. It's very hard to run against an eight-man front. Behind his scrimmage is the 10. Texas comes up the middle, and a nice kick here by Leckler. Mitchell calling for it at the 45, makes the reception, slips a tackle at the 50. Now he's on the run. 35, trips up at the 30-yard line. Cavill to the right, Thompson to the left, split backs. Williams and Brown, and it's play action. Goes to Williams in the flats. It's incomplete. Clayton has checked in. Handoff will go to Williams. Hits the middle. Lost two. He's back to about the 31-yard line. Maybe the 32. Brad Crowley will come through and make the uh, tackle. Having uh, enough presence of mind to locate the ball carrier and tackle him from, from off the ground. Got to have the 19. The handoff goes to Williams. He will get across the 25. Goes to about the 22-yard line. Did not make it. So a 39-yard effort, and from this range this year, he is 5 of 5 between 30 and 39 yards. At the 29 is the spot. There's the snap. Good snap. Good spot. The kick is good. And now it is 21 to 16. Texas narrows the margin, and the Aggies got to have some offense here in this fourth quarter. It has struggled through the third. Let's see if we can turn it around in the fourth. Cornhuskers looking to be undefeated going into that ball game if they can win today at Boulder. You can bet Colorado will be up to play. Here's the kick. It's a squibber again. And they're going to have to get somebody up there to pick it up. Taylor does. Uh, and he breaks the tackle, goes across the 30 to the 31. Looked like Taylor was pointing for Hall to come up and pick up the ball. And then suddenly, I think he realized Hall was too far back, and he ran after the football. Aggies have not thrown the ball. A lot of it has to do with field position in the second half. They are two out of three throwing the football. So they've not thrown. They've now got the wind at their back. Let's see how they elect to play it offensively. It's an eye formation. 
Hardeman and then Parker lined up in that eye. Put a man in motion with the move of the right leg. Here's play action. Will throw it on first down. Going deep. He's got Cole, and he overthrew it. Down at the 25-yard line. He was wide open. High formation. Hardeman followed again by Parker. Put a man in motion. That will be Hodge. Snap the ball again. Roll to the right. Throw it. It's caught at the 20, 35-yard line. Out to the 40. Close for a first down as they go out of bounds at the 42. That's awfully close for an Aggie first down. I think right he's got in front it. of the bench. I think he's got it. Spiller, oh, is it close? Spiller, the tight end, caught the ball and knocked out of bounds across the 42. The Aggies got a first down. I think that's only the second first down of the second half. First down and 10. Long snap count. Again, motion from the far side. The handoff goes up the middle to Hardeman. Hits the middle, being pushed back. Whistles will blow. He got the 45-yard line and stuffed there. They finally go out of bounds all the way from that hash mark back to this near sideline. Two tight ends, but Taylor in motion. It's an eye formation on a second down and eight from the 45. It's the Aggie 45. And off again to Hardeman. Tries just over the left side. Not a lot there. Got three to the 48. 10.30 to go in the game. And a big third down. Stewart calls signals. Will throw from a shallow pocket. Incomplete at the 48-yard line. He had Cole a little bit high. Rolled up. Jumped up to bring it down with through his hands. And A&M will be forced to punt. Leckler will take the snap at the 34. Has it in his hands. The wind at his back high in the air. Hodges Mitchell looking to drop it. He did. He's going to try to fall on it. Did he? Texas got it back at the 12. Yeah, they did. Texas got the ball back at the 12. He fumbled the ball at the 8, and the Aggies went after it. But Texas was able to get the recovery at the 12-yard line. First down and 10. Brown is under center. Williams... Moves him, uh, moves back to a position right behind Brown. Brown will get the handoff. They're going to go left. He will be dragged down at the line of scrimmage to 12. Second down and 10. There's driver on his back. Second down and 10. Shift back to an eye as Clayton becomes the uh, lead back. And it's play action. Brown steps up in the pocket, wants to run. He's going to be caught by Philip Myers and gets back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down and 10. Shotgun, Brown, inside handoff to Ricky Brown. And he broke a tackle and almost turned that into a big game, but not a first down as he got it to the 20. Paul's moving up to the 40. Schultz is waiting for the snap from center. It skips in, goes through his legs, and now will kick it soccer style. And it's going to hit at the 40 and get a Texas roll. Oh, and across the 45 to the 44. Ex still excellent field position. That one only going uh, 30... Five yards. Aggies first down and 10. This is good field position at the 45. It's an I formation. Hardeman. Play action. Throwing back this way. Campbell will catch it. Break a tackle. 50, 45, 40. Stiff arms a man. He has a man on him at the 20. He's down inside the 20 at the 18. <laughs> Look like a running back. He would not be denied. Well, he's bigger than a running back. Play on his stiff arms, moves, the whole works. It was just a little play action fake and a roll out to the right he dumped it to a two yard completion to Dan Campbell out in the flat and Campbell did the rest with a stiff arm and it'll be a 37 yard completion by the time they wrestle him down at the Texas 18 yard line that's the longest of his career it's 35 earlier this year 37 on that one first down and 10 at the 18 old Mo may be coming back to the maroon and white here motion back left to right Handoff inside, goes to Hardeman, across the 15 to about the 14-yard line. Give him four, it will be second down and six for the Aggies. Stewart has them huddled up. They break it now, hack right out over the ball. No changes in that offensive line since the opening. Well, you know, I'll check that in a moment. I think we have had a change on the left side. Here's a deep pitch. Texas penetrates, looking for a hole. Parker can't find it. Now he does, and he gets a yard after all said and done to the 13-yard line. Third down, five. Make it to the eight for a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 13. Two tight ends, flanker left and right, single setback. And it goes to, we got whistles. And it went to Hardeman, and Hardeman would have been close for a first down, but they stopped the play as the ball was uh, snapped. Don't know if they're turning on that mic. It's a legal procedure against Texas A&M. Stewart at the line of scrimmage, under center hack rack. Texas cheating everybody up on the line. Here's Cole put in motion. 
And it's an end around to Cole. Cole cuts it back at the 10. He's going to be close, and he does to the 5. A first down, Texas A&M. End around to Chris Cole. Cut it. Sweep and left, and then cut it back to his right. Goes first and goal at the 5-yard line. Spiller on the other. Hardeman followed by Parker in an eye. Motion from the flanker. That's Hodges. And the handoff, it goes to Parker, hits the middle, bounces out of that. He's going to be stuffed back at the 13. Texas penetration, unbelievable. An eye formation. Leroy Hodge in motion again, right to left. There's the snap, there's the handoff, and it will go to Hardeman. Hardeman across the 10 to the 8. Second and go, third and goal coming up from the 8-yard line. Oliver's going right. It's an eye formation. The tight end spillers on the left side, the open side of the formation. Hodge put in motion. Coming to the short side. Texas coming up the middle. Handoff will go to Hardeman to the five-yard line. So Aggies try the middle. Texas stops it at the five. It will be fourth and goal. And now apparently a field goal here by Kyle Bryant. Here he comes. There's the snap. It's been spotted down. The kick's on its way, and he just nailed it. The Aggies now on a 22-yard field goal by Kyle Bryant make it a 24 to 16 8 point lead Bryant given the go ahead about to approach the football again the wind at his back and for the first time today apparently no rain here at Kyle Field that we can detect here from the press box this will go over the head of Hodges Mitchell and will roll out of the back of the end zone he got a hand on it Texas with Brown and Williams behind quarterback James Brown Steps back, throws to his right. It is caught, and then fumble out of bounds. Aggies trying to win for the first time in two years in this series, having dropped the last two. They have won seven, however, of the last 11 that have been played. Second down play, split backs. Clayton's in the lineup along with Williams. Air it out again, shallow pocket. Deflected, perhaps incomplete at the 25-yard line. Shotgun. A running back either side of Brown. There's the snap. Drops all the way back to the 10. Steps up in the pocket. Throws the ball. Good for a first down at the 35. Out to the 40. Fumble the football. And Texas A&M has it at the 43-yard line. Oh, boy, that's a huge play. Caught by Kwame Cavill. Fumbled it. The Aggies recover. That's the first time they cough it up today. They go minus 20 in turnovers. And it's Jason Webster that comes up with the fumble recovery. Congratulations, Jason. First down and 10. The Aggies at the Longhorn 43 on the turnover. It's a deep pitch. Coming back to Hall. Got the corner. Has some yards. Gets close to 10. They get about 8. Close to the 35-yard line. Hodges goes in motion. Leroy. Hand off. Hardeman hits the middle. The Aggies have a first down. He goes to the 30, still on his feet, using his hand, breaks a tackle, goes to the 19-yard line. Wow. All day long, he's had extra effort. This was just that quick hitter up the middle. Two or three times, he was hit by uh, Longhorns. He wouldn't go down 17 yards, down to the 20-yard line. And we're down to 201 with the clock running. Still, Texas has not taken a timeout. Now they do. And the Ags now break the huddle and come to the line of scrimmage. Keeping it on the ground most likely. And very conservative. Here is a pitch deep. Goes back to Hall. The 20 got the 19-yard line. About a yard. Did he stay in bounds? Yes, he, he did. did. So it will force Texas, if indeed they are going to do it, to use one of the two re uh, remaining timeouts. And so far, they have not done it. Second down and about nine. An eye formation. Two tight ends. A flanker way to the left is Taylor. The handoff goes to Hardeman. Left side, a yard to the 18. As he went over the 100-yard mark for the sixth time in his career. Brandon Stewart doing a good job of using all of the clock. That last snap came with one second left on the play clock. Probably will have the same thing happen on this play. 30 seconds on the game clock when they snap the ball and under that. It goes to Hardeman again to the 15-yard line of the 16. And now 20 seconds, and Texas using a timeout. Kyle Bryant will come on to try a 31-and-a-half-yard field goal, which would put this game out of reach. Angle back to the left. 19 seconds to go. Bill Johnston to hold. Spotted down. Here's the kick. It's on its way. He got it. 
and it's 27 to 16, Texas A&M, and this one belongs to the Aggies. 27-16 with 15 seconds remaining in the ball game. Here is the kick. And that will go into the end zone. They're going to bring it up. Oh, yeah, they are. Back to the 5, to the 10, out to about the 15-yard line. 12 seconds to go in the game. And the 12th man made the tackle, right. and it was a good one. Well, at 12 seconds, the 12th man made the tackle. It would have been appropriate had it been at the 12-yard line, but it was <laughs> at the 15 instead. James Brown has uh, not been the quarterback today that we've seen in the first uh, three games in which we have faced him. Here's a pass. And oh. incomplete at the 20. It's incomplete because Sean Horn just nailed Ricky Brown at the 20. Horn hit him as the ball arrived. Oh, was that a lick? And it's one of those situations where you've got your back out of the backfield. He turns around to catch the football, and then as soon as he turns around, the DB and uh, Sean Horn just creams him, and he never saw it coming. What was the number on that truck? It was number 21. So Brown pays for that one. An incomplete at about the 20-yard line. Six seconds to go. This place will erupt. And the regular season will be over. Brown shifts back to a shotgun. Standing at the 11. Inside a handoff. It goes to uh, Ricky Brown. He's running at the 20. Down across the 20 to the 24. The game is over. The Aggies have won it. 27 to 16. 9 and 2 for the year. 6 and 2 in the Big 12. Headed for the Big 12 championship game. The play Nebraska one week from tomorrow in a 3 30. You can watch Nebraska and Colorado coming up shortly on ABC. As R.C. Slocum now will move his record to 83 wins, 23 losses, and two ties. He's the all time winningest coach in AM football history. And the Aggies at home in the 90s, now 43-4-1. And, and in the month of November, as we said earlier in the broadcast, they remember November. R.C. Slocum's teams are now 29-2. 27-16, Texas A&M has defeated Texas. The Longhorns will finish at 4-7. Last time they had a losing season was back in 1991. Let's go. They went five and six that year. They go five and seven for the year. They drop back to two and six in the uh, Big 12. So the ball game has ended. Texas A&M wins it on this day after Thanksgiving in 1997. Presentation here. The Aggies in uh, the second year of the Big 12 have come up with the South Zone Championship, and Kyle Bryant is holding it high above his head. Of course, he's a record setter for the Aggies. All time leading scorer for Texas AM, and uh, a real tribute to the Aggies. And we'll continue now with, uh, with our recap of the first.